Okay, here's a look at another figure in my Autobot Headmasters collection. This is obviously Fortress Maximus. And this is the original Fortress Maximus that came out in the late 80s. And a little history behind this. This was uh, one of the biggest and most expensive Transformer figure that came out uh, during that time. Obviously, you know, Unicron's probably the biggest Transformer ever made now. But this is just a quick look at the figure. Um, just want to look at all the details and you can see that there's a lot of uh, dust on it so this is the original which I think all that dust is actually okay because it shows that uh, this is uh, authentic uh, original so I like that and some history behind this for me personally uh, this is a figure that uh, my mom got for me at Toys R Us so this does have some sentimental value so that's just a quick look from the front view and now if I can carefully turn this to the side um, get a side view of it uh, this is what it looks like from the side. And uh, there is some discoloration in this white, you know, because it was out, it's because it's old. And I did have it out in the sun a few times. So now let's uh, come to the back some nice little wheels here it's nice that the stickers are still all on there even on the back and I'll go over some of these details later some of the features of it turning it to the other side really dusty you know these uh, hand missiles the gun some all these uh, gimmicks I'll probably show off later when I transform it. But that's uh, a quick look at uh, Fortress Maximus. And uh, this is uh, a major piece in my Autobot Headmasters collection. So now, what I want to do is just go over some of the other smaller figures. That came with it. So here we have a uh, gasket. So here's just a quick look at uh, gasket. Cool little figure. And this is a uh, grommet sticker treads here. It's kind of cool. And it does come with uh, a gun. I think there's two. I'm not sure where I put the other one. And then you get the Headmaster Spike. So <laughs> that's kind of cool. Actually, this should be folded up. So that's cool. Now, uh, what I want to do is share this uh, third party accessory that I got back in the day, which is really cool. So this uh, actually makes him look more like the Japanese version. You also get the Headmaster for the US version, but this is nice, this little sword too. So this is the uh, Centurion Head Leader. It's a back view. So this is really nice, and I'll show that later okay so 
Now, what I would like to do is just uh, go over this uh, manual. Well, maybe not the whole thing as quickly as I can. But there's the nice original artwork. And here's uh, what you get. A lot of stickers. And then the other accessories. I was telling you there's uh, two guns. I'm not sure. Uh, other guns somewhere inside Fortress Maximus. And then some more accessories. And then showing you this head. Start. Yeah, let me see if I can go over this just because I want to have it all documented, make it easier so I don't have to uh, go opening this instructions manual. So you can see how it uh, actually transforms. So that's cool. Step five, step six, Seven. Let's see. Bring out those uh, waste guns. That ramp. The legs. <laughs> it is kind of cool. I mean, I was never really into the uh, buying the headmasters. The, the generations and the remake and um, because uh, I have the original so I didn't see the point in buying it plus I'm not uh, really a season four collector but uh, this is still really nice so yeah instead of transforming it <laughs> this is kind of cool you can just Look at the instructions manual as a transformation. And you can pause it uh, to get a better look. So yeah, this is now I think the base mode. And then here's all the sticker application and uh, bio. So now let me see. Um, you can take a look at this uh, bio, pause that, read it if you want. And then what I'm going to have to do here is get the, that visor. So let me be right back. Okay, so I got the uh, visor decoder. And so now we could take a look at his specs. Very powerful uh, trans Autobot. Look at that. His strength, intelligence, his speed, his endurance a little low, rank, courage, firepower is high, his skill. So, yeah, that's a quick look at the, the bio and the tech spec. Okay, now what I want to do is uh, just get a look at uh, this poster. It actually came with the um, the DVD set because this is a really nice uh, Japanese artwork. So original artwork. So you can appreciate this. This is really cool. <laughs> this is really nice. A lot of the original G1 artwork doesn't really look so good, but this this. Uh, this is a really nice piece of uh, G1 artwork. So that's just a look at the poster. Okay, so now let me see if I can do a comparison here. Like I said, I'm not collecting the uh, the uh, the re-release of the Headmasters and Target Masters and stuff. So I never got the uh, Titans class fortress. So I'm trying to back up as far as I can go. Um, so you can see a comparison. 
the Hasbro version sucks. That's all I'm going to say. But the Takata version, you can see like the lower leg specifically is a little bit more uh, cartoon accurate. The US version is more based on the that uh, I don't remember what it's called, but based off the this stitch series. Um, and like I said, I never collected them, so uh, it doesn't really matter. But it would have been nice to have. And then they also had the Siege version of this, which you had to get to have it all complete. And uh, so comparing this with the Siege version, uh, you can see. So yeah, I think now's a good time just to do an easy transformation. So that's a transforming gasket and grommet into cog. So you just uh, just kind of like the siege. It's a parts former. Take that, put this together, get his weapon, and <laughs> There you go, now you have a cog. I mean, there's something really cool about this because there's a nostalgic feel to it. So let's compare it with the Siege. You know the newer versions are have much more articulation, but nothing beats the original. So that's the original cog. And just for the heck of it, uh, let me take out the head, Fortress Maximus, and transform this, bring down this head, lock it into place, lift up these legs, and you want to straighten them out, turn them around, bring out these arms, push them back, they slide front and back, and then pull out these hands. Uh, which is a little hard and pull out this hand and let's see I'll show you well first I'll show you a spike simple transformation put the head on well let's open this up this is the, the feature speed strength intelligence he's uh, really powerful let me see if I can uh, grab the uh, his gun I think I put his gun yep inside Fortress Maximus so here's his gun and you could put it in there and here's a look at the original G1 Fortress Maximus <laughs> let me just do a comparison with the fans toys masterpiece version so not only am I not collecting the uh, the, the new re re retail versions of them, but I'm also not collecting the masterpiece versions of Headmasters because I'm happy with the original. Um, and plus, I think that for Fan Toys Headmaster Fortress is going to be too big. Where are you going to put that? Okay, so now what I want to do is turn it more Japanese. I'm not too interested in, uh, what was his name, the U.S. name, um, but I'm more interested in the Japanese version, and his sword, Cerebros, that's his name. So now, let's take this off, you need this uh, adapter piece, so let's make sure you put it in uh, correctly. Right, like so, and basically, this wraps around. You can replace this weapon with his sword, so then now it looks more like the Japanese Headmaster version. So this is really cool. This is what I really liked. Look at that head. So now you turn the OG Headmaster to look more cartoon accurate, which you never got back in the day. So thank you third party for this.
So I really like that. Okay, so now I'm not going to do transformation on camp video, but I'll come back when I transform it. Okay, here's a look at uh, Fortress Maximus's uh, spaceship mode. I don't know what this is called, but you know, this is how he was always flying around in space. So just kind of get a look at it. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, I don't know what to think. This is cool, but um, <laughs> it's really big and long. Uh, at least it is somewhat stable, given how big and heavy it is. So that's just a side view. The other side's pretty much the same. So I just wanted to show that uh, just so you can see. And here's a gasket, grommet. They can go in, in his feet. Got some missiles here that come up, missiles on his legs that come up. And then spike I did put in side here and uh, yeah the other features I think are in his base mode so now let me uh, transform it to base mode and then sh look at some of the features okay here's a look at Fortress Maximus in his base mode this thing is so big it does not even fit on this uh, shelf here. But now that I got it all done, I can just get a good look at it in his uh, base mode. So there's Fortress's head sits in there. There's a uh, grommet ready to go, gasket ready to go. So let me show you. I'm trying to show all these features. So this is going to fall to the ground, but you push it and he rolls. So that's a cool little feature there. And you can actually do it on the other side as well. So just a little play feature. It's really cool. Um, I'm going to point out here this big gun tower I think is in the way of this helicopter pad but that's how it is and then let's see another feature you have here is you can rotate this uh, tower here this uh, radio signal antenna whatever so that's uh, kind of interesting and Oh boy, I can't really get to the back, but here's a feature. I'm not sure what this is for exactly. Some sort of storage back here. Let me just go ahead and turn this to get to the back view. So you can see the back, and this makes no sense why Spike is back here facing backwards. But this is important because this is the feature here, if I can see. It's even hard to get my hand in there to rotate that. But let me see if I can show it off here. But when I'm able to rotate it, uh, that center piece I'm looking at should uh, actually go up so I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, get this to if I can get my hand in there to rotate it and show you yeah okay so you can see it but what helps is if you put uh, something in there I don't know what actually fits in there um, I don't remember what goes in there, but uh, something 
those in there. Or actually, maybe put it backwards. Let me see if I can put it backwards. So let's get it all the way up. Come to the front. And let's see, is it all the way up? Sort of. Let's see if, uh, oh, gasket won't fit in there. Grommet, yeah, I think grommet fits in there. Okay. Funny, he doesn't fit from the bottom. But once you get him all the way up inside, then there's this little button here. And you push it, and he comes rolling out. Oh, that's the best I can do to show you that little feature, but that's kind of cool. I always thought that was kind of cool. But, let's see, there's another area here on the other side that I want to show you this jail so this I don't know what Decepticons go in here but obviously there's some stairs and then the jail so that's uh, another feature so I think that's it for the features in base mode and now I'll just uh, get them back here and get a look so that's base mode. Okay, I have Fortress back in robot mode. And now I want to show you some other features that I didn't show. He has these cannons on his arm here. You can open that up and lift this up. It's also the same on the other side. Open that up, lift up these cannons, and he also has it on his uh, hands too, which is kind of interesting. So you rotate this around, and you can try to get a finger in there. See those cannons? Same thing on this side, rotate it around. Try to get your finger in there. And then on his legs, he also has the cannons also, which actually don't point up. So maybe it's this is for uh, spaceship mode. And let me see if I can get an up view so I can show you here. He um, also has cannons on his uh, waist which is a little hard to get to because if you can see I'm actually lifting his arms all the way up so I can uh, show you now he has these make sure it stays he has these big old cannons on his waist. So this is super firepower here. Let me uh, bring his arms back down. And this gun's a little in the way here. Bring the other arm down. And now he's a uh, all armored up so that's a, a cool feature here oh it actually does point up so here's fortress all <laughs> armored up that's really cool and this actually reminds me of uh, the DNA upgrade kit so I wonder wonder what that looks like so let me see if I can put an image up here for when I find it so yeah that's um, pretty interesting so so this is it this is my review of my Fortress Maximus that belongs in my Autobot Headmaster collection 到達するか
、地球には絶対行かせんビッグモーニング